Hello everybody, welcome back to Skin Masterclass. If you are new to my channel, I'm Cheatham, your personal skincare coach, helping you to achieve perfect skin through education and well-being. I'm so happy you are joining me today because today we are going to be talking through the seven steps to select the correct skincare products for your skin. I will show you ways to find our skin type, skin needs, the best way to filter through products online to choose the most suitable skincare products for our skin, including popular well-known brands and Korean skincare products. I will share with you my top tips of finding the ingredients to avoid and ingredients to include in your regimen. I really wanted to create like a guideline for you so you have like a good starting point for shopping skincare online before you press that add to cart. Right, the first thing we should even do before we even go online is to really know our skin and be able to identify our skin type. Otherwise, you'll go online and get lost in the world of skincare. And probably you will select the wrong products or overpay for a product that you really didn't need in the first place. So now we're going to take myself as an example here so you can do the same for yourself. So here is how I identify my skin. I look at my skin at bare face first thing in the morning to see the really true side of my skin. I have dry sensitive skin and if I'm not too careful with the ingredients I tend to break out around like my mouth, my chin area and uh, yeah for that reason I've always had a slight pigmentation around my chin area and that's really because my skin heals like so slowly. Also, like many of you, my diet, my hormones really affect my skin condition. So I could develop like really tired looking skin from some time to time. I am 32 years old, so I started showing first signs of external aging, especially my forehead area. So basically I have a combination of all, which I'm sure so many of you can relate to. So now, do the same for yourself. What's your skin type? Comment below and we can continue to have our chat there. The second thing that you should be doing is identifying your skin needs. You can only identify what your skin needs once you know your skin type and your skin profile. So let's start again by showing myself as an example. I want to hydrate my skin because I know that I have dry and dehydrated skin. My skin really needs like a glow from within look because we identified earlier that my skin can look tired and dull. I want to help my skin heal quicker so I don't develop scars that would in turn turn and cause pigmentation. Also, my skin needs some like ingredients that will help with collagen production. And finally, if I do have any hormonal breakouts and redness, my skin needs to be calmed down. So you can start seeing the trend now, I hope, because each skin type has a different skin need and the aim of your skincare products that you will be buying is to target these specific needs. So now do the exactly the same thing for yourself. What is your skin need according to your skin type? Now this is the exciting part because now we're actually going to be writing what skincare products do we actually need to buy. Think of it like making a shopping list before you actually go shopping. Most of you watching this I'm sure can relate to this when I say that I love efficient, simple skincare. I don't like complicated steps uh, because to be honest, I don't really have so much time. And in fact, the truth is that we really don't need a 10 step routine. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, I said it because we really don't. Skincare is like an investment in time and money, right? If we find like the correct product that is concentrated, packed with anti-ingredients that gives our skin what it needs, so we can almost cut down on the number of products that we need, which will in turn save us time and money. Remember, less is more when it comes to skincare as well. So what do I need? I need the formulation of ingredients to be antioxidant rich, to have inflammatory and moisturizing brightening properties. So when I am going online, I am looking at the description of the products. These are the top keywords I will be searching and skimming through. Right, now let's write our wish list. I want a cleanser, potentially one that I can even keep on as a nourishing face mask. So an oil cleanser, a balm cleanser will be really, really good for this. I want to have a one step cleanser routine, not a double. So it needs to have deep cleansing properties. I just wanted to take some couple of minutes just to show you how I really identify the skincare products that are suitable for my skin. So I go to one of my favorites, beauty retailers online and that's cult beauty if i'm looking for general all-round products if i'm looking something specifically like korean skincare products i do go to soko glam 
Soko Glam is based from USA, so they ship from USA. Uh, whereas Cult Beauty, they ship from England. Right, for example, now we're looking for a cleanser. We go down to a cleanser. Then I know that I'm looking either for a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil. Let's start with cleansing balms. I then sort it by top rated. It doesn't necessarily mean that because it's the most popular product, it is going to be the product that is suitable for you. In this case, <laughs> funny enough, it was actually the most suitable one for me. So I look at this. It is a four in one cleanse. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. I look at the description and I remember earlier I said that I'm looking for keywords. So it has healing properties. That's perfect. I am looking for a healing property. Um, strengthening, which is exactly what I want. Revitalizing, resurfacing. That's exactly what I want again. An ashai fruit oil, a free radical scavenger, which means it's antioxidant, which is perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking as well. Activated bamboo charcoal is to clarify. Again, this is very good because I do have acne prone skin. It's got amla extract, which is perfect for firming. Baobab seed oil, which is boosting elasticity. What makes this product an incredible one for me is you look at the full ingredients ingredient list and that's something I'm going to be talking about in the next step all of the ingredients are all naturally derived and it's all natural products there isn't anything that I don't understand in this full ingredient list which is really good and what's very important is that doesn't have a fragrance because I could develop sensitive red skin and very good it's got a vitamin E which is one of the ingredients that I've identified that is really well for my skin Let's go and see for Soka Glam what we can find here. I go to oil cleansers this time. It's a double cleansing option, which is good. Oil cleansers. So we're on the skin type. We identified my skin is dry and let's say normal. Then the skin concern. So let's say anti-aging wrinkles. I want to target my dryness. I want to target my pigmentation, redness and sensitivity. So almost all of it is my skin concern. Then I go to the brand. If you're not really familiar with these brands, you don't actually type in anything. You just leave that open, free of. This is very good. So I don't want any alcohol products. I don't want any animal products. I don't want any artificial colors, artificial fragrances, no mineral oil and no parabell. I'm okay using essential oil only. Ingredient type antioxidant and vitamins that's perfect this is why it's so important that you do all these steps because otherwise you wouldn't know really what kind of ingredient you want what kind of you know skin concern you have your skin type so it's important that you know all these so you can really filter it through so now when you are looking at all these cleansers you know that all of these cleansers would be suitable for your skin type solid cleansing oil let's see this one this one looks really nice solid cleansing oil so it's solid so it's balm so that means i can use as a mask combines the performance of a cleansing oil with the gentleness of a hydrating moisturizer which is perfect right so this is the key words here this mineral oil free cleanser promotes hydration collagen production elasticity while also minimizing pores that's perfect so there you go we identified two products that is suitable for my skin and we can now go back and do exactly the same for all our other requirements I need a facial mist that I can use day and night and throughout the day as a pick-me-up. So a floral mist will work really well for like dry and dehydrated skin. I'm doing exactly for the toner and I found that the fresh vitamin nectar is perfect because I can see that it has vitamins C, E, B5. It has healing properties. It has skin transforming, multivitamin brightening properties, antioxidant, nourishing, hydrating, and healthy looking glow. These are exactly what I've identified earlier that my skin needed anyway. This is a Korean skincare brand, Mamond. Even though the details did sell the product to me, when I do look at the ingredients, unfortunately, I did see some of the ingredients such as D-sodium at uh, fragrance that are not so suitable for my skin type. I need a rich moisturizing cream that is packed with antioxidants, vitamins like vitamins like E and C is great for healing and some vitamin B3 for brightening. Ideally, I want this cream to already include the anti-aging active ingredients and like basics like sodium hyaluronate. I am looking for a two-in-one like serum and cream solution. So again, I'm looking at the Cult Beauty site and I found the Vital Balm Cream by Roche Rosebrook is exactly the product that I'm looking for. It is good for dry, dehydrated, sensitive skin. It's got aloe vera, which is perfect. 
It's got botanical hyaluronic acid, again, which is enhanced the skin cells. It softens, it plumps the skin, it protects the skin, and it actually helps with skin aging as well, which is perfect. What also sold me this product is when you look at the full ingredient list, generally speaking, the first ingredient is water, whereas for this case is aloe vera leaf juice. Can you believe that? The next one that I really liked is Phytocell. If you're looking for something that is a bit more within your range, it's $25, which I think is a really good price for a cream that you can be using day and night. Again, it is packed with all antioxidants, anti-aging ingredients, which is going to be strengthening the skin barrier. It will boost energy and vitality to your skin. I do have to stress, and it's very, very, very important, no matter what cream you are using, daytime you have to always finish it off with an spf finally i want a facial oil that i can use for my self-love facial massage videos a vitamin a in other words like retinol would work really well for my skin type but remember you are only recommended to apply vitamin a products like nighttime so if you are looking to include retinol in your routine and you want to save the cost of an extra product what I recommend you can do is to find the facial oil, the one that you use at night, that actually includes uh, the vitamin A. So I couldn't find anything in the Korean skincare side that included retinol in the oil. So I'm going back and looking at Cult Beauty. I found two products. First one is Jordan Samuel Skin. It is a retinol treatment oil. It is a nourishing moisturizer, a corrective treatment thanks to the blend of multivitamin and antioxidant ingredients. It has antioxidant rich cranberry seed oil, it restores the dermal layer and also strengthens the skin, which is very good. It does also diminish the appearance of fine lines. I am looking at the ingredient list. It is all natural and it does have retinol. It doesn't say the percentage of retinol included. So I'm assuming it is not as high as the Mara, which is this one is Mara Algae Retinol Face Oil. It includes 1.2% retinol. So it is on the higher side. And you can see obviously the price is representing that because it is three times the price of Jordan Samuel Skincare. The price is also representative of like the luxurious branding and also i would say the full ingredient list you can see there's double amount of ingredients inside the mara one you can actually read that it is much more potent because it has algae and seaweed extract so it is combining the powers of sea it is rich in omegas vitamins minerals to fight free radicals it has evening primrose oil green tea algae retinol extract i would be personally leaning towards the mara just because the retinol concentration of status and it is a very very potent oil that will be great for healing the skin at night yes eye cream is also very essential but i already have that and exfoliators face masks i make my own so it's diy that's for a future video so make sure you subscribe right now we are going to be identifying our boundaries with ingredients i have my very clear boundaries ethically because i do have a clean skincare brand and because i have also got sensitive skin so i do have to be a bit careful so i am a natural skincare advocate and i always prefer to use clean beauty products here is a list of all the ingredients i avoid when i buy skincare or create skincare products for myself and clients you can pause the video here and take a snapshot of this list if you are interested about ingredients and their toxicology ratings, Environmental Working Group has an option to search for ingredients that will give you like the toxicology and sensitivity rating for each chemical. I will leave the link in the description below. One thing also to bear in mind, and for me is key when selecting products, is making sure that the oils that are used in the products are according to my skin type. So I would be looking for non commandogenic like in other words, oils that don't clog my pores. Here is a website that I literally have it saved on my favorites. Go to this website and look through the ingredients and see like the commandogenic rating of each like oil. So don't worry about the technicalities of all these. I'm here to help you understand the science of skincare. And that's why I call myself your personal skincare coach. But over the time, I will create videos for you to make you fully aware of everything skincare. So the fifth important point is that set yourself a budget and work around that. With online shopping especially, it's really good because you do have the option to filter products so you can really narrow down your search depending on how much you are willing to invest in skincare. 
Right, number six is finding reliable online source. Make sure you buy original skincare. Especially if you are living in Asia, you will know exactly what I mean. Make sure the website has reliable reviews, has a traceable address and a phone number that you can track. Perhaps check if they have other social accounts such as like Facebook, Instagram. That will really give you a good indication, the authenticity of the supplier selling the brand. You know why this is also very important is because when it comes to natural skincare, especially products are very heat sensitive. Typically active ingredients will deteriorate at temperatures over 35 degrees C. So you really do have to trust the company's logistics policies. And finally, number seven, if you have any questions, you have to ask before you buy. Skincare is not like makeup where you see the effects straight away. So be sure that you are making the correct choice before you invest your money into it. At most online stores now offer free consultations. And remember, brands and retailers have a duty of care towards their clients. And service is included in the price of the product. So make sure you make the most out of this. I am here, of course, for you. So you can always ask me anything by emailing me, commenting below on my videos or on Instagram. Or you might even want to book a virtual consultation session with me to go through these steps step by step. That was my seven steps to select the correct skincare products. Please give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful. Share your thoughts with me on the comments below. And please subscribe to my channel so we can stay connected. Thank you so much for watching.